Hi, I'm Amy from White Acres and I help businesses do justice to their product or service by making sure that their business image is just as good as what they offer. When I have a consultation with a new client, I always ask them how they got to where they are now, what it was that they did before they started their business and why they started their business, what their story is. So today I thought I'd share my story with you, just in case you're interested. So to start at the beginning, I've always been a creative sort of person. I used to draw lots of pictures when I was little. I wanted to draw books, illustrate books. I used to invent graphic novels and draw pictures to go with stories and illustrate poems. And I used to do calligraphy with all of the fancy pretty bits on the edge. I used to um, invent clubs at home where I'd have like a newsletter about birds or something. And I'd use those Ikea pencils that you can get and draw pictures on the end to make promotional items um, and distribute them among my family. Um, so yeah, anything that was creative and a bit fun, I would do. I had a look around my parents' house to find some examples of stuff that I did when I was little. This, I did this, there's no nothing I could find from when I was really little. I did this between GCSEs and A-levels when we were in France on holiday one year. Um, so yeah, I love drawing, I always did drawing, and I've always made my own cards for people. Um, these are some cards that I also found in their house. Um, it's like collage and um, colour pencil and drawn things on top of photographs where, you know, I've, I've just always made my own cards and I've always been different every year, every every time I do a card it's getting harder now trying to think of something different to do or a different way to do it for birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, so I always enjoyed it. Uh, when I was at school there wasn't a graphic design course so I did design technology and while everybody else was making bookcases and lamps and tables and whatever else they made out of wooden plastic and stuff I made um, a kids book and a juice carton because I didn't want to do all of that really hard stuff I just wanted to like draw pictures and make things look nice so um this this is Mr Bin who was a character from one of the book from the book that I did during my A-levels my parents used to use him to remind them to put the bin out so that's why he's still around I've still got the book but it's at home and I'm not at home um so I just thought I'd show you him because he's funny. And yes, then we had to apply for university. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, and Mrs. Hall, who was my design teacher at the time, suggested that I do graphic design. So I applied to university to do graphic design and I didn't get in. Well, that was fine because I had a plan B. So I went off to college for a year and I did a foundation course specialising in graphic design. And then I reapplied and I got in. That was great. So I was really happy. So I went to university and I did all the university things and projects that they had going. Made some great friends, still really good friends now. And did a few work experience placements. Uh, one of which was at a company called Welbeck. And I knew they were going to employ somebody. So my f idea was I would badge them till they gave me a job. And they did, so that was good. So I left university, I did a couple of months with experience there and then they gave me a job. And I got married in January, which was really handy because I wanted to be able to buy a flat and live with my husband. So that was great timing. Um, while I was working there, I had a really great time. I was, wasn't just designing things. I felt like I was really involved in the decisions and finding out how businesses ran. They put me in the BNI and I went to those networking events and talked about business a lot, which was really quite good from somebody who didn't really know very much about business because I didn't really teach that at uni. Um, so I really enjoyed that, made some great friends there who are still great friends now. And I made some great contacts while I was working there too. I did some great work. Um, this is some of the stuff that I did while I was there. We did some work for St Oswald's Hospice, who I still work for now. Um, this was the first job that I got myself, which was for the NHS. This is a book about stopping smoking, which is designed by young people and then made to look a bit more professional, I suppose, by me. Um, this was the musical Monkeys, um, and I really enjoyed this because there's lots of little pictures of monkeys along the bottom, which you probably can't see, but I'll put them on the bottom of the blog post. I really enjoyed doing that because it was drawing, and I love drawing. And then this was um, Rosie Willett Designs. She designs the most amazing tiaras and um, hair accessories, all kinds of different things, um, and they're all beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products. I'd recommend checking the website out. In fact, the tiara that I wore for my wedding is in here somewhere. Here, yeah. Angelina, I wore that for my wedding. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that because it was it was really good fun to put such a great brochure together with such lovely photography and lovely products. Um, we also did an event called the Chili Challenge, which I really enjoyed because it was 
not just the design work for it, which was all great, doing the menus and the place cards and all of the promotional stuff, sponsorship packs, banners, everything for that, but it was planning the event as well. I really enjoyed doing that. And we raised quite a lot of money for St Oswald's Hospice doing it, so that was great too. That was definitely a highlight. Um, and then that was about a month before I went on maternity leave and I had my little girl. And while I was on maternity leave, I was made redundant, which was very sad at the time. And I was very panicky for about a day. And then I decided I was going to be self-employed. And that was great because if I'd gone back to work, I would have been pretty much working full time just in over four days instead of five. So I would have been very tired and I don't think I would have seen my daughter very much. So becoming self-employed was great because it meant that I could work reduced hours around my daughter and see more of her. And I was really pleased about that. Um, it meant that I could express milk at work and um, I could have extra days off with her. And I was very flexible if anything went wrong, which was wonderful. So yeah, that really worked out. And then as she's got older, she starts school in September. Um, I've worked a bit more over time. So I started off doing three days and I work four days. When she starts school in September, I work five days. So I sort of fit my work around her, but I really, really love what I'm doing now. Um, got some great clients, I've done some wonderful work. I've got various bits here. This is for Northern Experience Wildlife Tours, who were a client at Welbeck, who I still work with now. Brilliant company. If you ever want to go on holiday in the northeast of England or just go on a, a tour of different wildlife, then Martin is the man to speak to because he knows everything about birds and squirrels and all kinds of different wildlife that, you know, are beyond me. He knows exactly where to go and he runs amazing holidays as well as little mini tours and excursions. So I definitely go and speak to him. Um, I still do lots of work for the NHS. I've done since that first booklet. I've done all of these. Um, some of these are a bit repeated, but they've all been made. They've been made small now, which is really lovely. So we've got some on sexuality, on happiness. This is the smoking one. This is about um, healthy eating. This is about alcohol, and this is diabetes, which is also a booklet. There we are. Um, so really interesting subjects that young people design and I put together. I love doing those. Um, my first client when I started my business was my dad. This is um, RJ Elliott, dental technician. And that was great because it was it was great to be able to start off and know I had some work coming in the first month. It was a brilliant start for me. Um, another one of my favourite clients is um, Grow Up Green. This is a real nappy retailer. Bought these nappies for my daughter. And I, I love this because I love the little little boy wearing the nappy. I just, it was great fun to work on. Really good project. It's all very environmentally friendly and it, it's lovely. Um, another thing I'm involved in now is the Inspire Network, which is a um, networking organisation for women in the North East. It started off as um, being for mums, which is how I got involved because obviously I didn't want to work on the days when I was off. So I could take my daughter networking with me on the days when I wasn't working, um, which was a good ice icebreaker as well. But it's been really handy for me being part of the Inspire Network and now I'm on the admin team and I love it. So, you know, if you're in the northeast of England and you're a woman, get along to a networking event. You don't have to have children. Um, I've done some, some great stuff and I really enjoy it and I'm still enjoying it and I'm doing some brilliant projects right now, more to look forward to in the future. So, yeah, so that's how I am, where I am now. Um, that's my story. So I would love it if you would share your story in the comments underneath because I'm really nosy and I love to read how people get to where they are. It's one of the most interesting questions that I ask when I get a new client and I want to know where they've come from. Because um, sometimes it's a really obvious path, a bit like mine I suppose, where you know I've always been creative and I'm still doing creative things. Sometimes people totally switch direction and that's really interesting too. And it's just, it's really good to hear how people got to where they are. So yeah, please let me know, that would be great and I'll see you for the next video next week.